last year was big. This year is better. I'm hoping the next and um, coming years will also be as good as this and we keep on improving the service. And this year, the Technology and Entrepreneurship Center was very instrumental in organizing and managing the Tech Expo. I have been invited here today to be part of the ACT Expo second edition. I'm a judge and I got the distinct opportunity to go around and look at all the various projects that have been presented by participants. First, we looked at the university level competition and then we looked at the senior high school level. What I can say about this is that it's amazing. I mean, it's amazing the sort of things that young people can think of. The theme this year is about agriculture, sustainable agriculture. So the participants came up with ideas about how to uh, produce agricultural products in a sustainable manner. And we are looking, of course, at the future. And so they are using technology to do this. And what was so interesting about most of the project is the fact that the students were concentrating on irrigation, water, and plants. We were privileged to exhibit uh, two uh, basic concepts. One is a CNC seedling machine, and another is a ethylene sensing uh, bacterial form of uh, idea. We, we couldn't produce it, but it's an idea which we simulated it to see that it's feasible. From this expo, uh, expo, I've seen that many schools have exhibited brilliant uh, or innovative ideas or showcased some uh, nice ideas, which I think are, are, are really, really a good step ahead to uh, help Ghana or Africa to go a long way of uh, becoming also a giant uh, technological hub in, in the world. In general, when it came to the university level competition, in terms of technical competence, I saw some good technical competence there. Some of these uh, projects actually have had some practice, you know, they have built AI systems to do various things. Um, however, I felt they could have been a bit more creative. Yes, there's a reliance on the use of tools for the sake of the tools. I would much rather have seen some creative ideas and the, the technology being used as tools to implement those wonderful ideas. Those are the kinds of things that get me excited. With the senior high school level, we saw some really good projects as well. Uh, we saw some very creative things. They are using local materials to build miniature systems, which is a, a, nice, a nice thing. Again, they can be a little bit more creative and of course, because they are the senior high school level, maybe the technical competence was not as high as I would have expected to see, but all in all, it's been exciting so far. I think ACT has done well to pull the second edition of the Expo off. How can we make it better? I think we are using the sciences to fix a problem. And the problem is being experienced by a majority of people. Okay, what I think we should do is to also add some students from the business side. Students from the business side can really tell the story. Uh, let's not make it just an annual event, you know, you come and do it and then you start thinking about what to do next time. But rather let's build some sustainability into the whole program. So I'm thinking about maybe the awards that the winners get. If you really have identified a project that is really good, for which reason you are giving it an award, the award should help the student participants to continue with the project they are doing because at this stage, most of the time, they show us ideas. They, ha they are not proofs of concept. And so we need them to continue the development process. So they need funding, they need mentorship, and they need ideas to help them transition because having a, a prototype is not the same as having a usable product. And so there should be a roadmap where the awards that they win will sustain them through that process to get them to a, a commercial product. We are from St. Thomas Aquinas School. I am the president, the current president of Aquinas SciTech. We came here today for the Academic City Tech Expo. And we are proud to announce that we emerged first. Well, our competition was quite tough because when we entered, first of all, we came late. And when we entered, we saw all these other schools with fancy technology. 
However, with God on our side and with hopes of winning, we emerged first. Our project was on aquaponics. Aquaponics refers to a bio-integrated system of farming where fishes are grown and crops are grown as well in harmony. We'd like to say thank you to the Academic City Robotic Club for inviting us to this competition. We hope to be here next year. I was the first president of the Academic City Robotics Club and having graduated, I believed in pushing the passion of STEM and robotics. And as such, we decided to sponsor the ACT Tech Expo Robotics Competition by educating the students in robotics education and enabling them to compete in a robotics competition. We have been able to do this through the partnership of Abacosh Robotics, which is a STEM center in Virginia in the US. And they've been able to provide the robots that the students were using today um, at a fraction of the actual cost. Um, I'm hoping the Tech Expo keeps growing, becomes as big as possible, and we will always be there to support and aid the students to grow. I want to say a very big thank you to our sponsors and our partners. I'd also like to say a big thank you to our judges. Thank you all for making this program a memorable one and we hope that the feedback given to the students will be taken into consideration when they are planning such projects again in the future.